let's get into drawing Pikachu here. <clears throat> I'm like, this is a pretty big Pokemon fan, more of the game, to be honest. I'm going to start with Pikachu's head, and it's literally a circle. Right? Just going to make it obvious for you to see. He kind of looks like a, like a handbag, kind of, sometimes. I mean, he's like a, I think he's like a chinchilla, right? Can anybody tell me what he is? Is he like a rat? He's not a rat. Cause I think he's like a chinchilla. Gonna pull out over here. And then he's gonna have like a round lower section as well that's sticking out here. I'm just gonna, you know, something like that. The thinking in simple shapes will always save you. It's always that backup. And I'm gonna kind of like nail it into you guys. Um, because I have a lot of people that are like, oh, I don't know. No, I mean, just really rely on simple shapes, okay? Gonna go over here. Draw me a circle here for his hands gonna be coming forward at us. It's gonna circle more for placement. He's gonna, he's gonna be jumping by the way. So I'm gonna have right here one foot. It's literally like a U shape, very, very simplistic. Over here on this side, the other foot. If there's a character you guys want me to draw, let me know and I will make it happen. You just gotta reach out to me in the comment section. I will totally do it, okay? Don't forget to hit that like, by the way. I really want to, you know, gauge what you guys like and what you guys don't like. I'm trying to do more simple, elongated uh, lessons here. Line over here. Line over here. It's going to be his hand sticking out forward as he's, like, jumping forward. And his hand goes, like, it looks like a, kind of like a cone. It goes to this small shape. Right on. Going to go over here on this side. And he's got like a lightning tail, so I'm just drawing this as kind of finding the center of it, more or less. And he's got like a big square flag at the end of it, that's the way I like to think of it, like a flag. And then you add some thickness to the lightning below it. Right on. Going pretty good, right? So, what I, I gotta tell you. I'm doing this very darkly, and I'm going to put this paper underneath when I get all those simple shapes, and then kind of, you know, take it from there. Um, and, and don't worry, I'll talk you all the way through the curve over here, curve back. It looks like uh, an eye or a banana you know, for one ear, and his other ear is going to stick upward. Right on. We got a circle here for one eye. He's got a pretty big circle and another pretty big circle here. We're just placing it for underneath. So I'm using regular printing paper, but I'm doing it dark like that so I can see through it as I slide slide this underneath in a second here. Let's see, line across here for the mouth, and I'm gonna pull a long shape down for uh, you know his mouth there opening up. So that's his general shape, right? You can kind of even see it going on, like you see the. Uh, you see the uh, gesture of it already. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab another sheet of paper, and this is regular printing paper, by the way. You have this, you should have this in your house if you have a printer. Regular printing paper, but you can see, kinda see through it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, you probably don't, but I can see it in real life. I can kinda see through it. And now I use this, something I did, right? I gave myself the notes, right, to, you know, to follow essentially now I don't have to think about that part you're doing it in stages all right let's go over here and I'm gonna start with the eye it's gonna be like a basically it's just a circle the far side eye it's a little bit crammed together there I'm gonna draw a circle right there for a highlight go over here on this side it's gonna be a little bit more round the reason I want it more round is because it's facing us. You know, it gives it that, that slight perspective. And then I'm going to go over here and draw the highlight over here in that same area. I'm going to fill this in. Right there. I'll go over here. His nose is literally like a dash. It's kind of like very much um, right in the center of the, the two eyes right here, you know, like the lower center. 
It's just like literally a dash. Real simple, right? Um, were you guys around when Pokemon Go was going on? Like, I mean, like the, the I think it was 2016. It was so amazing. I wish that was like the most amazing thing. Curve right here for the upper part of the mouth. And there's a little bit of a part right there. For his little animal mouth. Curve over here. I'm going to pull down, and I'm looking at that shape I made before of his mouth open. Going over here, curve over here for the tongue in his mouth, and I could then like fill that in. Alright, let's go over here for the side of the face, and I'm going to find it over here. So I'm going to go over here on this side. I'm just going to find that curve, right? That cute little curve. Pulling down. Go over here on this side, and I'm going to find the top of the head. He's got a pretty low top of the head, but I can see it underneath because I already did it. I already... You basically figured out those proportions in the last one, and that's kind of the key to it. Go over here on this side. Curve up. Over here. Curve and pull down. Right there for that ear. Again, I saw that beforehand. Go over here on this side. Curve. And over here on this side. Curve underneath. Right on. He has a uh, design at the very end, so I'm gonna curve right, like like not a curve, a straight line here, and a straight line here. And so the tips of his ears are, are totally dark. And I'm gonna fill that in. Because I'm using ink, if you're using a pencil, you can totally, uh, you can totally just uh, fill it in with pencil. You know, you can shade it in pretty quickly. Maybe, maybe more quick than this. Uh, I'm just kind of shading it in here. Or like, filling it in, not shading it in. Gonna go back here, so now it's gonna go down, and it's gonna roll down his back. His back is pretty much pretty flat, right? It's gonna roll over here into one of his legs, and as he folds his legs back, it makes his bump for his knee area right there. And then over here on this area, I'm, I, you know, you see the line, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pull down over here. There you go curve. It looks like a beanie baby or something. He's got no arms. <laughs> Alright, stay with me. Um, gonna go over here and draw the arm. Again, that same arm shape I'm seeing underneath. Over here as well. And then I'm gonna draw the fingers. The fingers are like tiny little nubs. With the, the, the thumb finger right there. Over here on this side. Over here. Curve. Line over here for so that the, the, you see the pudginess of the hand on this side, right? And line over here of the arm, I'm sorry, forgive me. So the pudginess of the arm is going to be like this curve right here. Again, it's like a C curve. Let's go down to the feet. Downward. Curve up. Line, line. Over here on this side. Down. Curve up. Line, line. Let's go to the tail. Same thing, that zigzag, I already drew it in. So all I'm doing is tracing my own art, right? Which is kind of what you have to do. You have to work it out before, and then, right, you just you start going into it, right? You're working out problems, again, in stages. Like, and it's you, right? So it's, it's kind of neat, because you're tracing your own stuff. And that's one way to draw more complicated things, right? Something like this, of course. 
Uh, maybe put a line over here because he has like a dark pattern ish at the bottom here. Where the tail attaches to his, uh, whatever, his rear. Let's go over here and draw the circle for the cheeks. Which I did not draw on over there. Circle right there. And over here, you're going to see a, like a side circle right there because it's facing the other, completely the other direction. And that's it, right? That, that is Pikachu. That is like, think about those simple things and you can really move them around. It's, so if you have these simple shapes, you can have those simple shapes and do whatever you want. So that's, see this is the initial, right? And then this is the final. Initial, then final. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you really liked it, like I said, hit that like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to share the video with your friends. I want to build up the channel to be this huge channel again. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm going to keep posting as long as I keep hearing from you guys, okay? So absolutely, like, talk to me, and I will talk to you back. All right, later.